In this video, I'll be comparing Gear Up Booster versus Exit Lag and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So go over what exactly they do, who they are for, and ultimately which one works best. So first, what they are is they are both services that are designed to reduce your ping, minimize the packet loss, and provide a smoother online gaming experience. However, there are some key differences to consider when you make this decision, which is what I'll go over now. So first, I'll go over the key features. On Gear Up Booster, the key features include the adaptive smart routing and anti-packet loss technology, the broad platform and game support, because it supports PCs, consoles, mobile games, and devices like Pico and Steam Deck, covering over 2,000 games. So you can find it up here in the games section. It also offers server locking, bot lobby features, it is recommended by game developers, it has a user-friendly interface, it is a dedicated game booster, they offer a free trial for PC and mobile, and they have a lot of positive reviews. Now some potential downsides of Gear Booster include the subscription and paid features, so you will need to pay for it, which is of course to be expected, but that is a downside. Now on the other hand we have Exit Lag, and exit lag's main features include the multi-path technology, the ping and packet loss reduction, the FPS boost features. There are over 300 games supported and they do also offer a free trial of 3 days. Now the potential downsides include the effectiveness that varies. So many people report that sometimes it works very well but at other times it doesn't really work that well. Then there are also subscription and cancellation issues. There is potential for bans, so some users have reported concerns about being banned in certain games for using exit lag. Then it has limited platform support, so it primarily works on Windows PCs with mobile app availability, but often less comprehensive cross-platform support compared to Gear Up Booster, and the customer service can be unresponsive. So which one should you pick, Gear Up Booster or exit lag? First, I would say Gear Up Booster does appear to have a more modern approach with a broader platform support, specific game optimization features like server locking and bot lobby features, and it has generally positive user feedback regarding its effectiveness in reducing ping and packet loss. However, do be mindful of their subscription management based on some user complaints, which were also found on exit lag. So exit lag has a long history in the market and can be effective for some, but it carries more reported baggage regarding subscription issues and potential ban concerns. So its effectiveness does seem to be a hit or miss. So which one should you use? My recommendation would be to start with Gear Up Booster's free trial due to its generally more positive recent reviews and broader feature set, and if that doesn't meet your needs, then I would explore Exit Lag's free trial, being especially cautious about subscription auto renewal and cancellation policies. So overall, I would personally start with Gear Up Booster, get their free trial and see if it works for you, and if it doesn't, then I would try Exit Lag. Now if you would like to get started with Gear Up Booster, I'll leave a link to them down in the description where I can claim that free trial. So that concludes this comparison of Gear Up Booster versus Exit Lag. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.